Hey guys, this is Mr. Retelli and this time we're going to do a spreadsheet based on salaries and wages. Remember, the first thing I want you to do is to name it and save it in your folder right away. So name it and save it in your folder right away. We're going to be taking some shortcuts on this video just because I don't have enough time and this is part one of the video. But you see the name, take this taxes and wages report. Okay, so we're going to start entering some data and some information there and you cannot see but the first column is called employees then we had the pay per hour then the hours number of hours worked then we had the total that means uh, how much if you make ten dollars per hour you work ten hours that's a hundred dollars uh, then you have the sales because you work on commission, 5% commission, so how much did you sell? Uh, the total earned, the deductions, uh, which are 20%, social security, that kind of stuff, uh, insurance, they take off your pay, pay after the deductions, total per hour's gross, that means all your sales and commissions and salary for your hours and the net pay, which is the salary after they take all your expenses, like deductions, out of your paycheck, okay? So we're gonna, again, for the sake of time, and there's the first column that I told you, employees, so we're just gonna type Billy, Mark, Mary, and Christy. Let's say that Billy makes, uh, I want all employees to make between 10 and $14, but please don't enter any whole amounts, like 10 or 12. And I make it 1050, 1125, 1240, and the last one, let's make it a little higher, 13, let's say 1375. Okay, and the hours work, all employees need to work between 30 and 40 hours. These are things you're going to be doing in, the, in your own spreadsheet, so please remember the salaries and the number of hours, what I've been telling you about. For the total, okay, let's say 38 hours. For the total, Okay, we don't have that information yet. We have to figure it out, okay? And then we have sales. We're just gonna get, let's say it's a small electronic store, for example, and these are the sales per week. How much money? 1,435, 1358, 48, 184 dollars, and 1257, okay? <coughs> so that's the data we know, okay? The rest of it, we're gonna have to calculate, figure it out by entering some uh, some formulas okay so the first thing we're gonna do gonna go to totals and what we're gonna do there is we're gonna multiply the per, pay per hour times the hours worked okay remember the very first thing we do we enter we're gonna type an equal sign to let it know it's a formula we're gonna type 10.5 which is how much you get per hour times 40 hours and that's your total we're gonna copy and paste that Okay, let's try it again, copy, and then we're going to paste it, that way you don't have to enter the formula on every cell. Okay, then we're going to go, yes, perfect, here the sales, the commission is going to be 0 0.05 times the sales, okay, because it's 5% commission, time, 0 0.05, so it's equal, remember, equals, because you're typing a formula, if you don't type a formula, it will just type whatever you type there, so you don't want that, okay, so it's Q, uh, G10 times 0 0.05, okay, that's how much the person makes, again, we're going to copy it, paste it to the rest of the employees, let me try that again, Total earn for that very simple. We're gonna earn the commission. We're gonna add the commission plus the total they made on their salary per hour. Okay, so that's an addition. So again, we're gonna say equals. Okay, we're gonna click on the total they made on their salary, which is cell F10 plus the five percent commission. Okay, and that will give you a total. Okay, and again, we're gonna copy and paste that so easy to do this guys so there shouldn't be any trouble the deduction is 20 percent okay 20 percent of the money you have earned so it's of the total earned oops of the total earned we're going to take 20 percent away from it okay so let's see make sure we do this right okay so we're over here equals 
Okay, we're gonna click this cell over here, which is total earn times 0.20. Okay, all right, 0.20. Okay, remember, not zero to zero to is two percent, it's 20. Okay, so that's how much your deductions are. Okay, all right, that's how much they take out of your paycheck after that week. Gotta pay Uncle Sam and everybody else, okay? Everybody wants some money for your paycheck, okay? That's the way it goes. So, the pay after deduction. So, now we have to subtract, okay? What's the total earned minus the 20% they took off, okay? So, it's equals, and we're gonna click on total earn minus the 925 in this case, which is I10 minus J10, okay? And that gives you a total. Copy it, and paste it. Now remember, this is part one of the video. Part two will be on a separate video, so don't forget to watch that. Okay, that's total per hour gross. That's gross sales or gross salary is how much before the deductions, how much you get before the deductions. Okay, okay, but they want to know how much you get per hour, so you're gonna take that total earn minus or divided by 40 which is the number of hours okay to see how much is your total per hour cross okay so the division sign is the slash and you're gonna see here equals so we're gonna say i10 divided which is the slash by 40 which is the number of hours okay so it's the total earned divided by the hour number of hours Okay, and how much, that's how much that employee makes per hour, okay? So, let's get it. After the commissions, okay? It's the salary changes, it goes up, because now you got commissions on top of it. All right, so over here, uh, the net pay, that's your gross sale after, I mean, your gross salary after they take the deductions. Okay, so that's what you really make on your actual paycheck, okay? So we're gonna say, okay, let me see. Yeah, what you take is the number of hours that you work because we're trying to find out per hour, how much you make per hour. Okay, so it's, so say, uh, let me see, My, divided by 40. Again, you have to divide it by 40. Okay, so you take the pay after deductions and divide it by 40, and that's going to give you uh, what you actually make on your paycheck. Okay, so you see like a three dollar difference per hour. Um, in reality, maybe a little less. You know, it depends. You know, hey, we're going to enter some other columns here. We're going to do some other calculations. Total. I remember, that's the sum. Very simple. And again, we're going to. Uh, skip over this because you guys already should know how to do this okay all you do is sum and highlight the four columns and press the enter key and it gives you a sum so that i just skip over the video but you got all the totals right there okay now we need to change those to dollars so we just highlight and click on the dollar amount on the dollar sign i'm sorry you see those are hours works we don't have to do that over here you already see some but you see they don't have the decimal points so you want it all to look uniform and they want to have the dollar amount already is because you're doing some calculations with one where your body changed it to dollars okay so he knows that those are dollar amounts okay because maybe you multiply the our number of hours times uh, you pay per hour so he knows you're talking about dollars okay but again we have to make it all dollar signs with two decimals we're gonna do the, all the columns okay we go ahead okay Very 
good. Okay. Now we're gonna scoot over this way a little bit. Okay. And we're gonna enter some information here. Let me see. Just some we can ask for other information. We're gonna set the average salary. What's the average salary for all the employees when you add them and divide them by four? And we also enter some other information there. You see I enter average hours work, average sales, average commission, and average wages. A business owner needs to know this, okay, to make his calculations. Alright, so it's important to know what's the average, how much it's costing you to sell that refrigerator or that stereo, whatever you're selling at the electronics store. Okay, so we have the wages, commissions, your sales, okay? So to figure out the average salary, very simple, you just add the four salaries. Okay, so we're gonna say, okay, actually you can just grab the total, because we already have a total, all right? So we're gonna click here, we're gonna say equals, okay? And we're gonna say uh, the paper I work, which is total $47.90. We're gonna click on that, divide it, remember that's the slash, by four, okay? And that gives us the total for the average salary. And we're gonna do the same for average hours work. You know, how many hours are your employees working average, okay? And so we need to know that, so we're going to say equals, okay, hours work, which is E15 divided by 4, very good, per center. Remember, that's no money, so it doesn't have to have the money sign, okay? Now we're going to try a different formula here, okay? There's something here that we have uh, for this one, which is the average sales. We're going to try this, click on average, okay? So that just went to the menu and for the formulas, click on average. We're gonna highlight the four amounts and we're gonna let it go. And there it gives you the average sales, which is $2,156. And we're gonna do now the average commission. And again, just put, put enter, click over here on the symbol, click on average. Uh, highlight the sales, the commissions, percenter, easy. Okay, we're gonna do the last one, which is average wages. Okay. Very good, okay. All right, average. Highlight the data. Extend it over here. And where did it go? Okay, there it goes. We had it here on the side. Very good. Okay. And that's about it. So now, after you finish watching this video, remember I want you to go to the second part, but before we do that, let's turn this into dollar signs, okay? Really quickly, let's do this, dollar sign, and dollar sign, okay, very good. So now remember, uh, what's the second part of the video where we're gonna make the actual chart and put some color on this to make it more, more attractive, okay?